What's happening to Shibuya Tech Tricks back in our video and today this one is from Oracle and this is a USB-C hub for your MacBook Air M1. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of next videos to come, update some tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out my much below on 1130.ca. Hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you what this thing can do. Here we go. Basically, this is a USB-C hub, good for 100 watts right there. And then um, pretty much you can use this for your Android or any USB-C device that you have, PC or Mac as well. So here we go. Let's go ahead and open this up. Here it is, comes with a little hub like this, boom, let's take out the plastic, there we go, some user manual as well, and that's it for the box. So this is what the USB-C hub from Oracle looks like, pretty much has that logo on the front there by Oracle. On here, there's a, a VGA slot right there, which is really cool. I guess I've never seen that before. There's also the headphone jack right there, right up there, pretty nice. HDMI slot right there as well. Ethernet LAN right there. There's also the uh, USB-C slot right there where you can use the 100 watts right there to charge your MacBook. There's also the SD and the micro SD card right there and four USB 3.0 slots right there for you know mouse and maybe different um, drivers as well pretty nice let's go ahead and test this out so there it is uh, we were able to hook up a bunch of stuff here on the Oracle hub pretty much it has the usb 3 right there hooked up on there on our ssd which is really nice to be a usb c there's also the our iphone right there charging via usb 3 as well on this side, there's the micro SD and the SD card. And then here, we're able to hook up the original MacBook charger right there, up to 100 watts, like I said earlier. And then the HDMI slot to have us a second monitor. Boom. There you go. And with this, you'll be able to edit videos on your Final Cut Pro and then use this as a viewer. So as you can see, we are editing this video right now and I have it displayed right here where I can manage it and pretty much um, edit it from here. And then our, my viewer will be on this display right here, which is really nice because then you can have it on a bigger scale and then you can see the quality as well if, if there's something missing or you can edit it and color grade it to whatever you want. So the other feature as well is you can close your MacBook and pretty much just use this right there so if you have a um, USB-C mouse and keyboard you'll be able to control your MacBook right onto here kind of like a Mac mini style um, clamshell on your MacBook and then if you want it back you can all put it back right there all the display and the windows will go back to your MacBook Air M1 and uh, leaving the display empty now let's go ahead and try transferring files from my SSD to the SD card pretty much um, here as you could see it's quite quick actually it's not bad at all with the uh, almost three gigabytes there it's about less than a minute to transfer that which is really nice uh, from one SSD to another SD card um, this is not using the MacBook Air's memory it's, this is totally just uh, straight from one drive to another again uh, this is probably the workflow that I'll use with my editing. And that's it for today, everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you on your choice on a brand new hub just like this one. If I was able to help you, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. If you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below. So go ahead and check that out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit the like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. I hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.